So this is uh, my new radio. It's the <clears throat> Sony MEX GS810BH. It is a, um, as you can see from the labels, Bluetooth, HD radio, and Sirius XM capable tuner. Um, some of the features are, of course, those, as well as uh, USB ports here, and then there's also a port in my glove box, maybe, here. Um, I had Best Buy install this unit. They did a pretty clean job. Um, you know, with the materials, it doesn't match, but it's, you know, installed pretty, pretty well. Um, not a ton of gaps. Oh, I guess maybe I'm a little too close there. Anyways, um, so it's a great little tuner. Um, I've got some glare over here, but you can see that um, HD tuning is good right now. Uh, if you want to see what it looks, how long it takes to transition from regular... Um, Analog to digital, I can just flip a channel here. So I'm in, this is KROQ. Give it a second. We get the text and then now the HD signal. Let's go back here. KCRW. And there you go. And the HD radio signal sounds very clean, as you might imagine, since it's digital. Um, some other features, the Bluetooth calling is great. Um, I'll just take out my phone. You can see it's connected right now. And we'll just dial, I don't know, my, um, let's just try calling my voicemail. So you can see it's calling. You have no messages in your mailbox. Main menu. To set that's pretty good. Um, I'm connected to an iPhone right now, so you can go hold this button right here and prompt Siri. Takes a little while though. If I did it right. Hmm. Maybe not, let's see. What's the weather like in Utah? It's currently cloudy and 60 degrees in Salt Lake City, Utah. Expect rain and cloudy skies starting in the afternoon. Today's high will be 62 degrees and the low will be 53. Um, here's the microphone way up here. The um, technician did a really good job, clean job. Um, what else? So the volume is a rotary knob, rotary knob right here. You've got your call button right here. Seek uh, tuning is unfortunately done by two buttons. I wish they had made a um, another rotary knob because it's you know you get tuned like that rather. It would have been nicer to tune with a knob, I think. Um, there's a lot of cool features for display if you like really tweaking the. Um, if you like custom colors or whatever, you can um, set a bunch of different colors. They even have rainbow, random, I guess, random color. Um, right now, mine's is set to amber because that matches the um, Toyota Corolla color um, during night, anyways. So. Um, what else? Let's see. Um, scrolling. Let's see. Let's go back to music. So you see, scrolling happens initially, but it eventually stops. I wish they would have made it um, continuously scroll. Um, for HD radio, you also get sub channels. So right now, this is. Carol Q and there's a um, sub channel 2 
you see 106.72, and they have like their own little, oops, I didn't mean to do that, that was a fat finger click right there. Let's wait for it to tune back again. 106.72, and in this case it's like a 80s radio or something. Um, so yeah, um, the Bluetooth streaming works really well too. If I go here, there's a lot of sources. Um, I don't really use the Pandora devices because it, it kind of acts funny. I can show you that, but let's see, Bluetooth audio. So if I play something on my phone... Dreamboat, and you can, you know, this isn't a quick toggle, but right now I have it on title track, title display, but you can change it to, you know, artist name or album name. Dreamboat right there. Um, yeah, and, you know, I'll change tracks right here, and then we see a new track name. That kind of thing. Um, and if someone calls, which I don't, I might be able to trigger that, it's pretty easy to pick up the call. You could just press this button right here, the call button. Pretty intuitive. Um, I haven't played around with a USB drive setting, uh, playback, but because I have Bluetooth now and it's, it works pretty well. Um, I haven't messed with the CD player yet. But it, it's a great tuner, you know, if you have an older car and you want to add Bluetooth audio to it uh, for safety reasons and also convenience because it's just so much nicer than dealing with an analog connection. Um, this is a great tuner. Also, um, as far as Bluetooth goes, when you um, pull up, say, Google Maps and you you know just uh, if you want to navigate somewhere let's see okay start directions it will automatically the the uh, navigation voice will come up no matter where you are so if I go to even if I'm on Tuner. Let's do something. No one's been able to do before, and that is to use the satellite to look below the edge of the sea ice. And if I hit start. And uh, they published their study in the journal Nature Geoscience. And I'm guessing what they published is not very reassuring, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Oops. All right. What Let's try that again. Is that the warming water hasn't just been eating away at the ice edge; it's also been eating away at the base. Let's try it here. So Let's see. Where they're mm. attached to the bedrock. It's uh, what geologists call the grounding line of the ice sheet. This isn't happening everywhere, but it's happening in enough places and fast enough that they say it should change how we think about the threat of melting ice from Antarctica. And that's for a couple of reasons. Well, it's, it's not going, but it definitely does work. Um, let me see if I can just leave this. And what does all this mean for sea level rise? Well, the whole system is incredibly complex, but one of the authors told The Guardian that this new information could mean that Antarctica could soon be losing more water to the sea than Greenland is now. Really sobering news from... Oops, I'm having some data issue connections here. So let's see, try this again. Well, it's from the UK, where coastal erosion from rising seas and bigger storms is putting more and more of the country's... Um, you know, it pretty much, I'm pretty sure it does work, but... ...thousand homes and businesses over the next 50 years. Carolyn found one family whose home was among those 3,000, and she paid him a visit a couple of weeks ago to see what it means. Well, that wasn't a very good demonstration, but... You can be on Tuner, and it will still give you navigation steps. Let me see if I can 
Nicola Bayless is walking along the Haysboro Cliffs with her teenage daughter Darcy, surveying the damage from a recent storm. She points out a pile of orange clay that fell off the cliff roughly 20 feet to the beach below. Well, this is part of the cliff that it used to be. It's so pretty rough. It's taken away quite a lot. It's one of those blustery days yeah. where the sky and the Anyways. sea are the same shade of gray. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's a great tuner. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. From inside detention, Jacinto Morales. In 1,000 feet, your destination will be on the left. Indicating she's Your destination is on the left. For NPR News, I'm Liz Jones in Seattle.